Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, bit missing in action recently. Um, haven't been managing, unfortunately, to craft as much as I like. But I have been um, working in the background, um, sorting my lovely customers and team out. And yeah, catching up in admin. Um, got a few things going on um, in my little life just now, so it's extremely hard to... Um, craft now you might have seen a hand stamped background that i created um oh goodness i think it was about three nights ago i actually used various sets okay so the main focal one was the comfort and hope stamp set okay and you could see that here i also used this little um splatter stamp from the Painted Poppies and I used the Solid Butterfly from Butterfly Gala and um, this one here. Okay, so that was three sets that I mixed up. Okay, now I have die cut using Stitch So Sweetly dies, the third largest or the one, two, third, is it the third? Now, the third largest um, stitched rectangle. And these are lovely because I have a scalloped edge on them. So that's those there. And I was thinking, I want to send these out. Now, the inspiration came from a beautiful um, birthday card I received from a, a Stampin' Up! friend. Now, I have stamped this various times using this set in different colours, etc. However, the lovely Karen Tilly sent me this beautiful birthday card and I liked that she had butterflies in it so I thought you know what I am going to there's her details telecrafts.co.uk um I thought I'm going to make some DL cards or slimline as some call them and um, I'm going to stamp some butterflies and so I did that um, and I think that turned out really pretty. These are so saffron. I used various um, ink colours. Okay, so Smoky Slate, Sahara Sand, So Saffron, So Suede, Misty Moonlight, Seaside Spray and Grey Granite. I had initially just started with these three. Um, and then I just kind of kept it going. So these are lots of lovely colours. So I'm coming on today to um, make them into cards. Okay, so what I've done is I've made various card bases. Now, these are um, A4 sheet, the UK size, and I've just cut it down to, on the longest side, cut it at 8, scored it 4, and then that gives you a perfect DL size. Okay, so that actually measures, let me see now, that measures 4 inches by... Um, 4 inches by 8 and a quarter. So that is good. And I've kept the scrap piece um, that came off the other side. This is an eighth of an inch smaller, so it's three and seven eighths by eight and one eighth for the both the insert and the matte layer. Okay, so all these cards are the same. And then I chopped up, and I've got three out of my A4 sheet, this stamped um, layer, which is three and three quarters by eight. Okay, so I have used an array of colours based on these ones here. So this one will have So Saffron and Seaside Spray. This one here we have Misty Moonlight Seaside Spray. And this one here we have Soft Suede and So Saffron. And these are really good chunky cards. Um, so yeah, so each of those have a die cut element there from the Stitch So Sweetly. And the sentiment that I wanted to use I was looking and I like this one that says just saying hello from the Tasteful Touches. Okay, and I did actually um, sneak in some stamped images from this set as well. Namely this one here and this one here and you can see that there. So I'm just going to build these cards up and um, talk you through while I'm doing that and um, just give you a wee bit of an update. Right, so let's make these cards. I need a block. So I'm going with block D for this beautiful sentiment. Okay. And the main thing is deciding which colour to use for each um, card. Okay. So I am thinking... 
about using the base colours, you know, the card base. So if I use So Saffron um, on this one, I could use Misty Moonlight on this and then Soft Suede, which is a beautiful brown shade, on the third card. Okay, so let's do that. Let's get the inks open. And I hope everyone's well. Um, last minute yesterday, I decided to take today and Monday off work. Um, and as a result, I have rescheduled my online coffee and cards from Saturday night to um, Monday. So I do apologise if anybody was looking forward to that um, tomorrow night. I am just having a break. Um, I've been having to go and help mum and dad out because mum's not well still. So um, I'm a bit knackered shall we say um and crafting does allow me to get a good um let's move these a little bit a good um it lets me shut off but um hang on let me line this up first and pop it down so anytime i manage to craft it makes me happy and i can relax and forget about what's going on in the world for a little while Okay, so look how pretty that font is. Isn't that just stunning? Stunning, stunning, stunning. Right, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to use my basic pearl jewels. Okay, now the stamp sentiments, the colour of the card base. I am going to add basic pearl jewels. I'm going to colour them with my stamping blends. The colour of the, what is this, the matte layer. I think that will look really pretty. These are perfect. If you've got the stamping blends, absolutely great. So let's get Seaside Spray. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just, oh, wrong side. I like to use a brush side. So I'm just going to um, colour. Now, you can't see it very well, but it is colouring lovely there. So I'm going to do the medium and the small size for that. This one is the same so I'll do another two. In fact I might do Misty Moonlight. I might do So Saffron on one actually. Let me do that. Is this So Saffron? Yes. I'm using the dark shades. And let's colour two and so saffron. I'll use that on there. And then we'll have soft weed dark. And we'll do that. So if I've done them just now, I will give them a little time to dry. And um, yeah, so I'll pop them to the side. I've really missed talking to you guys. I hope everybody is well. Hope you're managing to craft etc okay so let's pop that on there let's do this one now in the beautiful misty moonlight and remember you could always switch it over if you stamp slightly squint but if you've got the right tools these blocks are perfect and if your cling sticker is on straight you've nothing to worry about but as you know sometimes we do stamp squint so i would simply just pop it over on the other side that's really pretty Okay, so this one now is going to be so suede. I absolutely love this colour. Okay. Ta-da! Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. If you didn't have embellishments, you could um, quite possibly stamp smaller images on the actual sentiment layer there, if you like. Um, I think that would look pretty as well. Okay, right, now, what my friend Karen had actually done was she'd done a little bit blending um, around the edges of her scalloped uh, rectangles. So I'm going to do that. Let me get... Oh, I could use my new brushes. Hang on, I hope I don't break anything. Ta-da! <laughs> Finally got these. I've not actually used them yet. I'm going to go to my go-to one, which is my uh, my first one, and it is clean, okay? <laughs> right, let's get this scrap piece of grid paper in, okay? And I am going to 
um, colour these in the same shading, okay? So let me pop these two to the side and we'll start with the lightest colour first, which is the soul saffron. Okay, so you just add a little bit of ink, okay? And we're just going around the edge like so. And if you go from the edge inwards, you get a gradual um, reduction in the colour. Beautiful. Now I am going to actually just cover the full thing. Shade it all in. And that looks really, really, really pretty. Lovely. You could always just do that to give it some extra colour. I've not done shading in actual ages. Blending, rather. This is so much fun. You could do any colour you like. Okay, so I'm just going to remove the excess ink. Okay, so that's that one. You can see how dramatically different it looks now. Um, let's go with this one. Now, this one, because it is a darker colour, we need to be careful. Okay. So I would always kind of stamp off some of that excess ink. Oh, this is looking nice. Wow. I do like that. Okay, and I'm just going over it with the excess colour from my little brush. I think I'll add some more darkness around the edges. Beautiful. Right. I do like that. Okay. So that's that one. So that looks really pretty. Let's get this excess off. Dun, 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 dun. Just keep doing that till it disappears. Right, now on to the soft suede. Again, this is very dark colour, so be careful that you don't add too much to your sentiment layer and then you're um, actually covering up your text. Yeah. Whew. You don't understand how much that um, burns my arm. That's my silly Amy kicking in. Feels like um, I've been boxing on a punch bag for about an hour just doing that for five minutes. <laughs> I am not complaining though. I am not complaining. Right, so very nice. Okay, let's get all these um, stuck together, shall we? And if I get the chance, I will come on and do... Um, another hand stamped background. Okay, now is this the glue that's nearly running out? Yes, it is. Da, 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 da. This is the new one. I always remove the excess glue from the top. Okay, you could always um, pop a sentiment on the inside too if you like. Let me move these inks out of the way before I have an accident. Lovely, lovely. Okay, so that's the insert done. Then the card front. And these are, like I said, eighth of an inch increments. And the differences in the layers. Okay. Now, I actually have this lovely braided linen trim that I thought I could um, pop on here. Now what I want to do is I want to have it so it's crossing over. Okay. And then I'm going to put a little bow on it. Let me see. Dun, da, 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 da. So I want it to kind of cross it over like so. And what I could do is actually stick the sentiment over the top. Okay. Or, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Okay, so, rather than waste three pieces of this, I'm going to cut it down. Where's my scissors? Hey, anybody seen my scissors? There we go. I'm going to cut it down 
two pieces. Okay, so you've saved a length. Right, I'm going to get the um, wonderful stamp and seal. Okay, and I'm just going to add that there. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. So I'm just adding that like so. You see that? And then this one, I shall add kind of crisscross-ish. Okay, come on, do your ass. Don't pop it flat down though because you do have the um, stamp and seal on the back. Right, so that's that side. And then this side. Great! Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay, then this will go on here and I'll pop that little sentiment on the top. You can't see this very well, but if people are into card making, they will notice these little things. Okay, let's pop this on. Absolutely beautiful. Like it, I like it. Okay, now you can just shimmy that a little bit. You could pop that under there or anything you like. Right, now this is going to go on with dimensions, but let's get our... Let's get our little gems on there. Now, I think, I think I'll think i use the So Saffron ones. Okay, let me get my Take Your Pick tool. And we're just going to pop the two of them like so. Lovely, jovely. Lovely, jovely. Okay, dimensions. So I put a big order in yesterday, workshop order, and I'm going to utilise these scraps, by the way. Um, and I had to order 12 um, packets of cardstock to replenish my stock that is running slightly low. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to restocking my library, my rainbow library of um, cardstock. <laughs> Right, let's pop that on there like so. Ta-da! And there is the first card. Okay. So let's go on to the Misty Moonlight focused one. Okay. And I think I may bring in some Misty Moonlight ribbon for this one also. Okay, let's get the matte layer on. Now, if you wanted, you could die cut out sections from your layers to save your cardstock, but um, I like I like the thickness it gives the cards. Okay. And then we have this one. Okay, so I think I should add um, a piece of ribbon over here and then a bow. Let's do that. Let's grab the Misty Moonlight. Now, this is the um, um, in colour ribbon. Okay, so I'm just going to snip a little bit off. And your ribbon can go a long way. Let me close these inks, actually. Your ribbon can go a long way if you're clever with how you use it, just like any other craft supplies. I did actually order quite a lot of um, ribbon um, and some new embellishments as well. Um, with my order, so that was good. Um, and I might have snuck in the Forever Greenery Suite and uh, some other stamps. Okay, right. Put that there. And there. Perfect. Okay, this will go in there and then I'll add a little bow. Okay, let's get this stuck down. Do, 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 do. Da, 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 da. Okay, make sure your card's opening the right way. <clears throat> Many a times I've um, made a card and it's been the, the wrong way. <laughs> right, let's stick this down. This is just going flush. I think I maybe should have um, ordered some more Tombow glue, actually. I do have a couple spare there, but I kind of like a, a set amount. Right. Let's try a bow. Okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Now my friend Jane does great 
bunny ear bows, but I cannot remember for the life of me how she does it. She showed us numerous times in class. And, uh, hang on. And I just can't seem to get it. I am very pants at doing them, um, bows. I do apologise. Okay, I think that's about as good as I'm going to get. Okay, so just fancy up the edges like so. The more you play with it, the more you may damage it. <laughs> oh, dear me. Right, I'm just going to put a little bit of stamping seal on there. Pop that down like so. And Bob's your uncle. Ta-da! So here's our second card. You can see these are quite nice and strong. So I need to decide who I'm going to send these to. Okay, last card. And I do apologise if I'm rambling on, but like I say, I've missed you guys. So I'm off Friday, Monday. So excited. So excited. Okay. I need to um, actually nip up to mum's today and she's wanting me to polish and try and wipe down her kitchen bunk, um, kitchen cupboards for her. So I'm going to go up and do that and then maybe my dad will make me a rolling egg or something for breakfast. Right, okay, so what are we going to do with this one? This one is just so pretty. Right, now I'm thinking, um, what kind of colours do I have? I have this from the Flowers for Every Season. Now that is, um, oh God, what's the colour of it? Seaside Spray colour. So I think I'll use some of that. Right, let's see, let's get out the, the end. Let me use my pokey thing. Come on, don't be shy. There we go. Oh, I forgot about the embellishments on this. Right, this one. What can I do for this one? Decisions, decisions. I think I'll just wrap some round the back as well. I think that's what I'll do. So, let's put them down the bottom though. a tip from Karen Tilly as well for using the um, stamp and seal. There is a way to do it. Okay, so I'm just going to put that one on there. That one on there. Okay. And we are simply going to just wrap it round. Now I'm not crisscrossing this one. I just want two layers. She says, da, 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 da. my goodness, my hands aren't working. Dum, da, da. There we go. Pretty. Okay, and this one I'll pop down here. Yep. That's a plan. That is a plan. So it's the odd one out because the sentiment is going to the bottom. That is absolutely fine. You could actually incorporate one of our punches with this that has the, um, this, this punch here. It's available in the annual catalogue. You could actually punch out this little section here and you could use it to feed ribbon through so it looks like it's strapped on. Um, that's a good effect as well. Right, dimensions for this. Let's um, recycle the almost last of this edging from my normal dimensions. Okay. Da, 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 da. Oh, come on. Sorry. My singing is pants. Do you apologise? Okay, let's pop this one here. Fantastic. Right, last bit is deciding what goes where. Right, let's put the... Um, soft suede coloured petals on that one 
and on here we'll use the soft sea foam no it's not soft sea foam it's seaside spray okay because this is quite light i'm going to do double on this one like so fabulous you could add a little bit wink of stella as well if you like um right where's the lid for this guys cannot lose the oh there it is can't lose the lid for that um right wink of stella and i think what i'll do i just shook the wrong bit i just shook the lid there <laughs> as i'm just going to put a little bit around the edge okay and like i say these are finer details that um people will notice if they look at the card the way they should lovely be careful because it will drag out the ink colour a little right so to remove the excess you just simply do that these are really good for cleaning themselves so let's see can you see a bit shimmer I can but you might not be able to on the camera so that is our three cards from the um, stamp your own background that I done it uh, really lovely autumnal type colours um yeah I'm quite happy with those um you could pop a sentiment on the inside as well we have various the good things in life are better with you you are the best you are special but when it's a hello card I like to try and leave the inside blank and then you can um well I don't actually write on the inside of the cards I'll put a note in um so that people could um recycle these and pay it forward and send to someone else so thank you so much for watching um lots of products used today all of which are available in my online shop i will leave a link in the description box um, for my online shop and um yeah if you need a hand um deciding if you if you want to order any of these I'm not sure what's what just give me a wee private message because i don't bite um, and it's lovely to get in touch with you okay folks have a lovely weekend if i don't see you before monday i'll see you on monday thank you so much take care